If you're sitting AQA A-level biology this year, you are going to want to watch this video. I've gone through every paper two on the new specification for AQA A-level biology, and I've spotted some clear trends and common topics that are frequently assessed. And I'm gonna share all of that with you in this video. Now, massive disclaimer though, before we start. This is not a predictions video. I don't do predictions because I don't think it's ethical to say to you, I predict this is gonna come up because it can be misleading. People think I've got inside information. I don't, I just analyze papers. And I don't want you to then not revise something that could still come up. So not predictions. I'm simply pointing out some key trends, commonly assessed topics, and then I'm gonna share what I would do about that information. So you can revise smarter and be more efficient with your revision to gain more marks. Hey everyone, and welcome to Miss Estrick Biology. I'm Miss Estrick, and I've been teaching biology since 2009 in school and online as well. So if you're new here, welcome. And if you're a regular, welcome back. This video is all about pattern spotting. We're gonna be going through the most commonly assessed topics for paper two. And I'm just gonna address the elephant in the room here in case you are thinking, hang on, did I miss the paper one version of this video? Because I'm watching paper two right now. No, you didn't miss paper one. I have actually filmed it already, but for various reasons, I'm not publishing that one until May. So the paper one version of this video for AQA is going to be released, but it's gonna be released about halfway through May. But for now, I'm gonna share with you all the information to help you with paper two. So let's jump straight into it. What are the most commonly assessed topics for paper two AQA A-level biology? I'm gonna be sharing with you the five most commonly assessed topics for paper two. And all of these topics have come up between 75% and 88% of the time. So basically almost every year or every other year they come up. So the reason that I share this is, it's not a prediction, as I've already said, but what it does mean is the topics that I'm gonna go through on this list, you need to make sure you have thoroughly revised them because the likelihood is they are more likely to come up because they are more commonly assessed. So if it is a topic in particular that you find really difficult to understand or remember, and then I say it's on the list of most commonly assessed, the reason I share this is you can now plan your revision with the time you've got left to make sure you dedicate slightly more time to that topic because number one it's more commonly assessed and number two you find it harder so let's jump into what those topics are so topic number one is nervous coordination this has come up 88 percent of the time on the eight paper two papers that have come up since the new spec number two is homeostasis which has also been assessed 88 percent of the time and this covers knowing generally about homeostasis and negative feedback but predominantly blood glucose control and the control of the water potential of the blood. Number three is inheritance. And this has come up 88% of the time. And if I'm honest, I'm surprised that that wasn't 100% of the time because I feel like every year I've seen an inheritance question. But I think that's potentially because if it's not on paper two, it's come up on paper three. So inheritance, 88% of the time, it's pretty likely that's gonna come up in some form or another. Number four on the list is gene expression. And this has come up 75% of the time. So basically, Basically, six out of the eight papers, gene expression has been assessed. And gene expression covers stem cells, transcriptional factors, epigenetics, siRNA, and also cancer. And then number five, everyone's favorite, gene technologies, which I know, yes, it is an incredibly tough topic with so much application, but it's been assessed 88% of the time. So if you know you find gene technologies difficult, then do make sure that this is one of the topics that you are putting lots of revision into. So so there we have it, the five most commonly assessed topics. And I'm pretty sure at least three of those topics you're thinking, I find pretty hard, but you've got time to revise it. And my pick and mix lessons, which I'm not actually sure if they're gonna be live by the time this goes up. Potentially they'll be going live in one week after this has been posted, but check the description because I'll put a link down there for you. My pick and mix lessons are where I do a one hour lesson group session online. And I'm going to be doing these in May and June. And I am going to be doing an hour session on 
gene technologies and on nervous coordination, plus a whole range of other topics. But from that list, those two I am doing a session on. So check the link below if you want to come along to have some more tailored support with that plus exam question practice. Right, next thing then is we've gone through the most commonly assessed topics, but let's now combine that with which topics haven't been assessed at all or much recently. Now I have five topics on this list. Two of them overlap with the most commonly assessed topics. So if it was me, I would be revising those two topics in thorough detail. So number one, nervous coordination. That has not been assessed that much in the recent years. Number two is photosynthesis. So this is actually quite a commonly assessed topic, but it hasn't been assessed heavily in recent years. Number three is populations, and that is spec point three point seven point two. This topic has actually been missing from the exams for quite quite a while. It's not a big part of the spec, but I would look at that because it's not been on there recently. Number four, gene expression. So this is a commonly assessed topic and it hasn't been assessed much recently. That is a must revise topic. And number five, energy and ecosystems. This actually is often assessed more frequently on paper three, but it hasn't come up much recently. So energy and ecosystems is things like your MPP, GPP. So what to do with that information? As I said, this isn't a predictions video, because you can't actually accurately predict. However, you can inform your revision based on the topics that you find hardest, are commonly assessed, and even more so if they haven't come up recently. So think about those three factors, and I'd give those topics slightly more priority in your revision, but still make time to revise everything. And if it was me doing my A-levels, any topic that comes up on the commonly assessed and hasn't come up recently, I'd be revising that in mega detail and doing all the pathway questions linked to it. And I do have lots of freebie topic questions on my website. Well, the third thing I want to talk to you about is respiration and photosynthesis, because you might have been surprised that those didn't come up on the commonly assessed topics list, because it feels like they're always there. What I find with these two topics is because they're both in topic five, they're both essential biochemical reactions, you usually get either respiration or photosynthesis as the main focus each year. Yeah. And then you might have a little bit of the other one. So although it didn't come up on the commonly assessed, they're actually both assessed about 50 to 60% of the time because it's usually one or the other, which means you need to revise both of them in detail. Firstly, because they are great usually to be able to apply to multiple topics for the essay, but also the likelihood is you're going to get one or the other of those in quite a bit of detail. And the other one, maybe just a few smaller questions on it. Next then, I wanna to talk to you about the maths and practical skills that commonly come up on paper two. The three most commonly assessed practicals on paper two are ones to do with photosynthesis, ones to do with respirometers and respiration, and the big one is sampling. That has come up almost every year, whether it is random sampling or belt transects. So definitely make sure you know required practical 12 to do with sampling. Next then, in terms of math skills, you could get any of the math skills coming up on paper two, but the ones that you tend to see slightly more frequently are Hardy-Weinberg calculations, because that links to populations and inheritance. Statistical tests is often a concept here because you get more data analysis and application on paper two. So often there might be an experiment linked to p-values and statistics. You also have chi-squared linked to inheritance and inheritance is commonly assessed. And then more generally speaking, things like percentage change and ratios is a generic skill that commonly comes up. If you do need more help with the math skills, and you might have seen, I've recently released a maths skills workbook, which is for AQA, but it does actually work for other exam boards as well. And it goes through every math skill that you need to know that is on the spec. It goes through how to answer those questions, a modeled example, and then practice maths questions with the answers. So if you do struggle with the maths, check that out on the link because that's gonna help you a lot. So that is it for my paper to what you might expect for 2025 based on past paper analysis. I hope you found it helpful. And yes, there is going to be a paper one version coming soon. And there's gonna be an OCR version as well. And so many of you keep asking me, Am I gonna be releasing videos to do with essays to prepare for? Yes, I am. That's coming in the next week or two. So look out for that one as well. But for now, that's it. Hope you found it helpful and I'll see you next week.